Hi travelers, are you traveling to the Philippines and you will be arriving or departing from any of the terminals in Ninoy Aquino International Airport? And you would like to know what are the airport transportation options available. So let me share to you what are the different transportation options that you have if ever you will be arriving or departing from any of the terminals of Ginoy, Aquina International Airport or Naia. Watch this video and find out. <music> Hi travelers and mga kabayan and of course foreign nationals who for the first time will be visiting the Philippines. You are watching Jamie Aris Talk TV where I bring to you different videos about travel, lifestyle, career, business, and life of an OFW or overseas worker. And I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get updated every time I have a new video for you. Now for this specific video, I actually want to answer some of the questions or concerns that you have regarding what are the available transportation modes when you arrive at any of the terminals of Naia International Airport in Manila, especially if you're a foreign national or a Balik Bayan who actually, for the first time after many years, you'll be arriving or departing once again from any of those terminals. So let me share to you about the taxis. What are the different taxis available in any of the Naia terminals? Now, how about car rental, ride healing, transportation that you can book through an app? How about different types of buses? Do we have free or complimentary buses or do you have to pay a certain fare for such a bus that you can actually avail from Naia terminals? And how about jeepney and motorcycle taxis? When is it best for you to use this types of transportation so all of this i'll share to you from this video kabayan and of course travelers the miaa airport transfer service bus is once again in operation since last year the miaa or mia airport shuttle transfer service operates 24 hours a day and seven days a week and this bus or this NIA airport shuttle is complimentary or free for all travelers who wants to take the bus transfer from one NIA terminal to another. Now, the following are the respective pickup and drop-off points. So, for NIA Terminal 1, it will be at the arrival curbside, while for NIA Terminal 2, it will be the arrival curbside in front of Bay 9. And for NIA Terminal 3, the drop-off, will be at the departure curbside in front of gate 5 and 6, while for pickup, it will be at bay 116, that will be Naia Terminal 4 curbside. Now, as we continue with the different types of buses that you can avail from Naia Terminal, we also have what we call the Airport Loop Shuttle Bus. Now, this Airport Loop Shuttle Bus is only available at Naia Terminal 3 and Terminal 4. So, this Airport Loop Bus service transports passengers like you to Pasay MRT through Baclaran as well as those heading to Naia Terminal 3 only for 40 pesos, which will be the regular fare for a seamless travel experience. Another bus that you could actually avail when you travel or when you arrive or depart from any of the NAIA terminals are the following. So we have the point-to-point -point bus and one of the brand is Genesis. Genesis point-to-point -point bus is a premium point-to-point -point bus service that offers daily trips from NAIA Terminal 3 to Clark International Airport and back to NAIA Terminals 1, 2, and 3. You can actually check their schedule and rates on Genesis Transport FB page and their website. Now, the location for the pickup and drop-off will be at Terminal 1. It will be at the departure curbside. For Terminal 2, it will be at the arrival curbside, Bay 2 and 3, Mia Admin Building Gate 2. And for Terminal 3, it will be at the arrival curbside across Bay 14. 
Now, as per their FB page, the latest updated point-to-point -point Clark trip schedule by Genesis Transport Services are as follows. Please take a look so that you will have an idea and you can take a screenshot as well. And keep yourself updated by checking their FB page and website. And passengers and travelers, in case you want to contact them, so for any concerns or other related matters regarding your trips, please call their hotlines. It will be their landline number is 028332 with extension and local number 111. Now, for their mobile number, it will be 0998-582-7830. Please just call only during office hours. That will be from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, there is another bus that I would like to share to you that offers a point-to-point -point service. Now, we have what we call the UBE Express. Now, the UBE Express is a premium airport transfer or bus service that offers daily trips from Naia Terminal 3 to Robinson Santa Rosa, Araneta City, Cubao, Robinson's Manila, Ayala Mos, South Park, Victory, Liner, Pasay, and Juan Ayala Makati, and back to Naia Terminals 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, the UBE Express also serves the Paranaque Integrated Terminal Exchange, or better known as PTEC. So, for those who are from Calabar Zone, you can definitely avail this. So, when it serves PTEC, it will actually proceed to the Naia Loop. When we say Naia Loop, so from PTEC, it will now go to Terminal 1, Terminal 2, then Terminal 3, then back to Terminal 2. Terminal 1 and then back to PX route. Now, please visit their website that will be www.ubeexpress.com for schedule, rates, and payment options. Now, UBE Express point to point bus is available at Terminal 2, 3, and 4. So, for Terminal 2, it will be at arrival curbside Bay 5, while at Terminal 3, it will be at arrival curbside Bay 12. While at Terminal 4, it will be at Arrival Curbside Outer Lane. Now, please take note, everyone, travelers and kabayan. So, for the Naia Pitex Loop routes or routes, it operates between 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. or vice versa daily. Now, this route has no departure schedule. The bus will just simply roam throughout their operational hours and, and the bus Wait time for passenger is expected to be around 30 minutes to an hour. Please be aware that their point-to-point -point pickup is only at Naia Terminal 3 with their booth in Bay 12 and their buses in Bay 11 and 12. The payment mode will either be cash or using the beep card. Now, the regular fare will be 150 pesos only. You may also take a look at the schedule that they just released effective july 5 2023 so once again the regular fare is 150 pesos so you can take a screenshot of this everyone so this is the ube express point-to-point -point service schedule from naia to the ptex loop or vice versa now if you prefer to take a taxi rather than a bus then that is also available in any of the Naia terminals, but wait, let us take a look. What are the different types of taxis that you can actually avail so that you can choose? The first one is what we call the coupon taxis. Now, the coupon taxis, you will be charged a fixed LTFRB prescribed rate based on your chosen destination. It's available at the four terminals. So we have a terminal one at the arrival curbside and arrival extension. For terminal two, it will be the at the arrival curbside near Bay 11. At terminal three, it will be at the arrival curbside across Bay 6. While for terminal four, it will be at the arrival curbside. Please take note, there is a 20% off for any senior citizens, persons with disability, and students. Now, aside from the white coupon taxis, at the airport, there is also what we call the yellow metered 
taxis. Now, the yellow meter taxis, the fares vary depending on your destination within Metro Manila only, with a flag down rate of 75 pesos for the first 500 meters traveled, plus 4 pesos for every succeeding 300 meters and 4 pesos every 2 minutes of waiting time. Now, it will be available at the four terminals of Naia. At Terminal 1, you can definitely wait for this yellow taxi at the curbside and arrival extension. And then at Terminal 2, you can wait for this yellow metered taxi at the arrival curbside near Bay 14. At Terminal 3, it will be at the arrival curbside across Bay 8. While at Terminal 4, it will be at the arrival curbside. Please take note for senior citizens, persons with disability, and students, 20% off is given. Or you can avail this. So once again, that's for the yellow metered taxi. Now there is also what we call the regular metered taxi. Now the fares again vary depending on your destination. Compared to the yellow metered taxi, now the flag down rate is lower. This is only for 45 pesos and you have to pay 13.50 pesos for every succeeding kilometer traveled and 2 pesos per minute of travel time. It's again available in the four Naia terminals. For Terminal 1, you can definitely uh, take a look and avail the regular meter taxi at the arrival curbside. For Terminal 2, it will be at the arrival curbside near Bay 23. For Terminal 3, it will be at the arrival curbside across Bay 13. And for Terminal 4, it will be at the departure curbside. So those are the different types of taxis that you can avail at any of the Naia terminals. But please take note, there is also what we call a dispatch slip. And the one who actually acts as dispatcher, every time you take any of these taxis from Naia, will give you this slip. Now it says here that passengers availing the coupon taxis, yellow meter taxis, or regular taxi service will receive a dispatch slip. Now, which you are advised to keep and not hand over to the driver. Now, this slip actually contains important information and contact details. In case of any concerns or complaints, passengers, as passengers, you can actually reach out by calling or texting the numbers provided on the dispatch slip. Additionally, agency hotlines are available throughout the journey to your destination. Now, there is another type of taxi that you can book through a booking app, and that is what we call the Grab Taxis. Now, you can book a taxi through Grab mobile app. Now, Grab Taxi drivers will turn on the meter once you are inside of the taxi. And all you have to pay is the metered fare based on LTFRB and an additional booking fee, which varies per city. Now, check out the mobile app to know more about the Grab's booking rate fees. Now, this is available for Terminals 1, 2, 3, and 4 at the Naia Airport. Now, at Terminal 1, the pickup location will be at the arrival curbside. Terminal 2, it will be at the arrival curbside Bay 20. For Terminal 3, the departure curbside across Gate 7. And for Terminal 4, it will be at the departure curbside. Now, should you prefer to rent a car? So, renting a car, that's possible. So, with a network of trusted car rental companies at Naia, you can actually enjoy the freedom to explore your destination at your own pace. You can actually choose between having a driver or opting for a self-service experience or self-drive experience now from compact cars to sedans vans and suvs a wide selection of vehicles is available to cater to your preference and needs now this will only be available at the three terminals terminals one two and three for terminal one for Terminal 1, it will be at the main arrival curbside before the hotel lounges. For Terminal 2, you can actually avail this at the transport lounge the, at the arrival area in front of Bay 12. And at Terminal 3, in front of the Burger King or the main arrival hall.
Now, aside from this, we also have what we call the ride hailing or booking app. Now, grab airport to anywhere. Now, the MIAA or Manila International Airport Authority and grabs airport to anywhere program deploys a dedicated fleet of grab accredited vehicles to service the increased demands for transportation vehicles at NAIA. Now, you can book a ride through the Grab mobile app. Grab prices are disclosed up front and the fare stays fixed no matter how long your journey takes. Now, the pickup location will be at Terminals 1, 2, and 3 at the arrival curbside for Terminal 1. Same with Terminal 2 near Bay 6 and same at Terminal 3 across Bay 4. Now, everyone, just in case, if you will be traveling light or without any luggage at all, you may actually use the motorcycle ride hailing apps such as Ankas, Joyride, and Move It to get to and from Naia. Motorcycles are not allowed to enter Terminal 1 main arrival curbside, Terminal 2 arrival curbside, Terminal 3 curbside, or Terminal 4 arrival curbside in your lane. Instead, you have to pin your location to the following pickup and drop off points below. So for Terminal 1, it will be at the departure. For Terminal 2, it will be at the departure base 25 to 28. For Terminal 3, it will be at the curbside secondary road. And for Terminal 4, it will be at the curbside area outer lane. So those are the different transportation options that you can avail from any of the NAIA terminals. Now, in addition to this, if you will be using private cars, either you'll be fetched by your loved ones or you will be renting a car. So passengers using private cars can actually use the appropriate routes outlined below. Now, from North Metro Manila, you may take EDSA towards Pasay City, past the Magallanes Interchange, Take the left lane of EDSA into the tram of flyover. Head straight after clearing the flyover and turn left at the end of the road. Continue down the road. Take the first exit out of the Rotonda Monument and on the terminal entrance. Well, if you'll be traveling from the South Metro Manila, you may take the South Luzon Expressway or XLEX and Skyway towards Manila and take the Villimore exit ramp. Continue down the road past Terminal 3 and the Resorts Road Complex and onto the Rotonda Monument. Continue around the Rotonda and on the Terminal Entrance. From West Manila, motorists may turn onto Mia Road at the junction of Coastal Road and Ross Boulevard. Turn left at the enter a section with Park and Fly and proceed to take the first exit of the Rotonda at the end of the road. Lastly, continue down the road, take the first exit out of the Rotonda Monument and on to the terminal entrance. Or simply, if you want to take via public transportation, passengers taking the Metro Rail Transit or MRT may disembark at the EDSA Taft Station. An airport shuttle terminal is located beside the MRT station. Now, those traveling by city bus routes or routes may take a bus plying the EDSA via route now these buses will pass terminals one and two while a jeepney route can take you to terminal three additionally you can take the airport shuttle service to move on to the different airport terminals so once again everyone looking forward that this video had helped you in choosing what we call the different transportation options at the NAIA terminal or how to actually go to and from NAIA terminal three to all foreign nationals as well as, you know, first-time Balik Bayan travelers who will be arriving and departing from any of the NAIA terminals. If you have quite a lot of luggage, I suggest that you do not use the Metro uh, Rail Transit because it will be too crowded and for the safety of your luggage as well, if you have quite a lot of things, it will be best if you take a private transportation or a taxi from your location to your destination. So those are some friendly tips that we actually have for you. If you find this video helpful and informative, please click like and I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. That's Jamie Iris Talk TV. 
and for my FB and TikTok account, follow me as well. So with that, I'll see you in my next video. To all who will be traveling, have a pleasant and safe flight. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much.